in this video I'm going to explain how to produce engine drawing based on the 3D part we made. To produce engine drawing, we need to use the draft module of Solid Edge. You can start a new draft module from this uh, click on GB metric draft, you'll see you have the template appears, drawing paper appears like this. Since we are going to use the template to produce drawing for the coursework submission, so instead of using the uh, template provided by Solid Edge, we're going to use our own template. We cancel this. We can access our own template. This template is downloaded from SolidEd and saved on your submission directory. We access that by open it. When you click on open and find your uh, coursework directory, and make sure you click on this file name and need actually have the draft documents selected then you have this uh, template appears and click open but you don't need this uh, uh, assistant uh, you can use this uh, fit to fit your drawing paper to full screen the next step is to use this join view wizard command to bring in a 3d part and place on the drawing paper as orthograph view and isometric view as well. So click on this command. And a new window pop up allow you to choose the parts you want to actually uh, produce drawing. The brushing is the one for this demonstration. So click on brushing and click on open. And you will see the one of the view is uh, of the brushing. And uh, don't click anywhere. You just move your mouse to this command is called join view layout and uh, click that one and uh, the view to see is front view make sure it's a front view selected and we need another view end view to uh, to mark the length of the uh, brushing so two view will be enough for this part then we just select two views but some view some some parts we need three views we need the uh, uh, section view sometimes we may need a detail view it depends on the uh, the how the part is is how how complicated the part is okay uh, whatever we need is two views and but we always two orthograph views we always have need to have a one isometric view so we click on this uh, isometric view you can choose, choose different corners that gives you better uh, view so I, I choose that one just click on OK now, you'll see uh, the original view becomes smaller. This is because the, uh, the Solid Edge automatically predicts how big the view is and compare with the paper. You can change if that prediction is not, automatic prediction is not correct, you can change the scale, make it larger, and, or make it smaller. You also can change this value here. So you have here, or round figures, uh, recommend figures by British Center. But you can have a non-recommended data, uh, a scale, for example, 2.5, uh, then you can actually have a, a, a different scales. But since 2 to 1 is good enough, we just select that one and, and click here. Then you can see all three views appears on this drawing. Then you can select that view, asymmetric view, to place that in the in a appropriate in the appropriate place, so as we can have uh, these things be dimensioned properly. So we also can drag this around and drag them away. They always align to each other, but you can uh, you can set the distance between them, drag them. But if you move up and down, they always link together. Okay. 
when we, we, we place it in the right place, and just click on the uh, drawing paper, then you have the dimension. The next step here is to, to do the dimension in. To do the dimension in, we make, just make it large or something, okay? Uh, we need to use center line command to draw center lines between these. Okay, these two points, and right click, cancel center line. And we need to draw center lines here for this circle as well. Just click, okay. All right. Apart from that, we need to do the dimension. If we do the smart dimension, it gives you internal diameter of the brushing, click on this one, and drag it, and click again, you have dimension fix. We don't do the second circle, that is created by the chamfer. So uh, we do the external one, so internal and external, and click, and drag away without holding mouse button down, and click again. So we have these internal and external dimension placed. Then we can actually do uh, distance between and set the length between that line, highlight it and click, and move it to the other side, highlight the other line, okay, click, and then drag it down. Uh, click again. You fix the lens. So now we have done the uh, dimensioning for the lens, diameters, but we also need to do one more, which is the chamfer here. To do the chamfer, sometimes the, the view is too small. We actually need to follow or use this detail view command. To click that one and close the place wherever you want to, want, want, want to actually place a detail. We'll click and drag it, make it larger, and click again. Then you have a detail view. Here, we can change, before you click, you can change the scale, make a detail view even larger or smaller. Depends on the room you have on your drawing paper. If I place my view here, detail. You can see this eye is a bit cross over that one, so I, you have to actually manually move to a appropriate place without actually unlock the view of the drawing. So, Right, then you can choose a distance between to place a chamfer here, to dimension a chamfer here. Okay, so you can have distance between there and there. Uh, I, mean, I click. Before I actually do anything, and uh, I, I need to actually add some prefix. I want to all all chamfers. Okay, uh, forty-five degree, multiply this dimension, okay, then I click on apply, okay, uh, it only take effects after you do that, so we just need do this one. Do another one. Distance between. So if you do it now, then the, the, the distance after you assigned distance between there and there will come with it this prefix. 
okay? And remember to remove it, otherwise the next time this one, the old chamfers text will appear there as well. So now we have done all the dimensioning with the appropriate views. The next is to just fit this, fit this to the paper side. Next is to fill this box. And to fill this box, we need to go to views. Right. We need to click on the background. We need to click on uncheck this working. Right. Make sure here the tab is A4 because we did that on the A4 template. Then we can actually change this text here. A4. And scale. Two, two, one. Part name. Make sure all the uh, the text in this uh, uh, title block must be capital. This is a required, compulsory required by the standard. Right. Next. This is uh, the, the drawing data. It's not my name, and my name is uh, the next next one. Uh, date, for example, nineteenth November. Uh, you can you can use your own style. Uh, uh, material, click steel. Right, name, just click my put your name there. For the file name, that is routing. P-A-R. For the join number, uh, you're going to have uh, four, four joins to, to be submitted as the assignment. You just put the, uh, the, the, you just name a given number, for example, 01. I put this one. Okay, after you've done this join template, all this has been fixed, then we can actually do the reverse way and check this uh, working and check this uh, brushing. Now you actually back to the uh, join, the view for the join. You have all the dimensions and the boxes fixed. That's all done for this join and this video as well.